Today we'll be reviewing the Puma Speed Orbiter men's running shoe. Now jumping right into it, the upper material of the Orbiter shoe here with Puma. It is a nice, actually, upper material. It's actually quite breathable. The lockdown is quite nice. The lacing up is nice. The length of the laces, no issue. Make a run, uh, runner's not in the double knife. You want more of a security of a lockdown. The heel, heel counter, no issue as well. Very uh, pronounced and rigid to make sure there's no type of heel slippage when running. So one thing you're just kind of noticing the Puma upper upper material shoes and type of comfort with the collar area. No issues at all that I see of any type of downsides to it. It, they're very spot on and nailing that down as well with that type of quality where it could last a long miles as well as your foot kind of expands the material. So that's one thing that this orbiter really has a nice, really nice upper material quality about it. Now going into the midsole, it has a type of split in between the forefoot midfoot area and also the heel. Now kind of running with the midsole you kind of do see there's that beat type of technology it is actually more of a firmer landing shoe and what that split does it's kind of hard to control it kind of has that type of way through the gate cycle where it kind of lands in the heel first and then it finishes off the forefoot that split really kind of makes that difference of with this particular shoe so it's kind of right off right off the gate so something that needs to be in control because it, it is a bit more heavier in the heel than i would say in the forefoot it just has a little bit more of a metal material and as well also rubber so it, it's something where you, if every time you land you definitely would most likely land in the heel something that's hard to control just wanting to land on the forefoot and midfoot area but that split is what I would mention it kind of causes a bit of that but in between the split and towards the outsole they does have that pro plate so it is uh, provide that little bit of that extra kick a little springiness with that pro plate feel that it does have the outsole rubber no doubt about it Pumas does an incredible job but definitely with how much amount of rubber they have it does increase the weight of the shoe so something that I also mentioned a very firm landing shoe but that it's also heavy um different of a landing pattern that's something that's hard to control just kind of mentioned as the con but the pros of course upper material the, the pros as well the durability of the shoe the cons is kind of the weight of the shoe the split in between the firm landing and the hardness of controlling of wanting to if you're that type of runner consciously just wanting to land in the forefoot it's kind of hard as the heavier side of the heel kind of makes you want to land there first with the orbiter shoe other than that um it's it's for the long run shoe that's definitely the truth about a long run shoe um something that if you're looking to kind of be able to deal with those um, those side side effects of what the shoe provides in terms of the feel of the run that's something that you like to deal with and uh, no doubt about it just be sure that you have resilient legs and a little bit more of that control when you're actually running with this shoe no sign of wear and tear and as mentioned a shoe for the long run no doubt about it long run in terms of durability but the firmness of landing and with, other than that that does conclude the full impression review of the Puma's Orbiter Speed Orbiter's Mintons and if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have regarding this shoe as well. Please subscribe and we'll be posting more videos and reviews. And if you have any suggestions, please let us know. we will be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Other than that, thank you for tuning in at the Mile Pacers and you take care.